A church film club has banned the Olivia Colman comedy Wicked Little Letters due to its offensive language. The film is well known for its clever profanities. According to the older members of St. Swithin's Church in the village of Bathford, close to Bath, the real-life British caper is simply too impolite. Locals who were annoyed by the movie complained that it wasn't, and of Green Gables enough, on the neighborhood Facebook group. A citizen inquired as to what would be shown in its place and proposed The Exorcist. Christine Parkhouse, a member of the community group, commented that despite every other word being a swear word, it is a funny movie. What's wrong with a bit of swearing? questioned Peter Farkas, who also said that attendees didn't have to show up if they found a bit of blue language objectionable. With a little profanity, Wendy Freeborn, who looked like the head of a movie club, replied, there's nothing wrong, but only at home, not in church. Irish actress Jessie Buckley co-stars in Wicked Little Letters, which was released with a 15 certificate last year. Based on a true story, it is set in Littlehampton, a picture-perfect little town in West Sussex that is almost as lovely as Bathford, close to Worthing. The story revolves around a 1920s whodunit mystery that arises when a local resident begins to receive obscenity-filled, anonymous letters. Moldy old tart, rank, foxy a asterisk 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 measle, and elf-skinned country whores, are among the insults in the movie. A character's baked cakes are disparaged in the movie at one point, which might have been too much for Bathford churchgoers to take. The monthly film club at St. Swithin's is open to the local community once a month at 2 p.m. and is free. Tea and homemade cakes are provided free of charge, but £3 donations are requested. The Father by Ms. Coleman and the Lost King, which tells the story of Richard III's body being found in a Leicester parking lot, have been enjoyed by the group in the past. The club will present We Bought a Zoo, starring Scarlett Johansson and Matt Damon, next month. A church representative declined to comment when the reporter contacted them over the decision to prohibit the movie. About the foul language, actress Olivia previously said, I just think they need to get over themselves. Some people walked out of the cinema watching our film. It's enjoyable, it's not a sign of a diminished vocabulary, and I see it as a seasoning. A real scandal that swept over all of England in the 1920s served as the inspiration for the movie Wicked Little Letters. The narrative centers on Edith Swan, Coleman, and Rose Gooding, Buckley, neighbors in the seaside resort of Littlehampton, United Kingdom. One day, Edith gets the first of several lewd letters full of funny swear words, the main suspect is her rambunctious new Irish neighbor, Rose. Gladys Moss, Anjana Vossen, the town constable, starts looking into Rose's case after she is accused of a crime, all the while the letters keep getting more intense. Parliament absolutely debated it and it was covered by all the broadsheets at the time, Olivia disclosed in a BBC interview. As Buckley added the letters, she remarked, I found it hilarious that the entire country was in a frenzy over this. The sort of sensationalist trolling you would expect in the modern day, Jesse continued, describing the letters. 